go again. I hear those trumpets blow again. Oh, what a blow again. Taking a chance on love. Here I slide again. About to take that ride again. Starry-eyed again. A dwarf, anti-vivisectionist, apparently, against small animals being used for experiments. Got priority in prize draw. <laughs> morning, Tom. <laughs> Busy this morning, please. Yes, I have been rather, Tom. I got up at half past five and I washed down the paintwork, ah. done the loose covers and curtains. Yes. Soak the ham, yes. scrub the vegetables, finish the soup, mm -hmm. I'd polish the silver, yes. and just doing the table. Yes. Need any help? Yes. <laughs> I've done it all now, Tom, yes, thank yes, you. Yes. How are the Bubba Jobbers getting on? I'm cleaning chest of drawers upstairs, spare room. What, still? Yes, yeah, more conscientious than expected. <laughs> Stripped off paint, wire wool, graded wet and dry sandpaper, now putting on second coat of varnish. <laughs> Uh, That's not another prize, is it? Yes, yes, magic set. Got it from local paper for colouring in a picture of Paul Daniels. <laughs> Strange, really. Certainly is. Your colouring's awful. Uh, you keep going over the edges. Frankly, worried, Alison. This morning, <coughs> quartz clock from Reader's Digest. <laughs> Rubber gloves from Green Tornado for having correct lavatory cleaner. Third prize this morning. I don't see why winning a few prizes should bother you, Tom. Uh, happened to me before. Sort of winning streak. Not the happiest of memories. I think a winning streak sounds rather fun, Tom. I mean, if it really got going, you could find buried treasure just by digging a hole in the garden with a pickaxe. Unfortunately... Tom, there's a man digging a hole with a pickaxe. Oi! Oi! <coughs> digging hole, my front garden. <laughs> That's right. I'm looking for the golden hair. This is where it's buried. No, no, no. Only thing buried there, eight faithfully departed hamsters wrapped in cling film. <laughs> Entitled to every bit of peace they Using my pickaxe. Ah, fair point. Give you 5%. Alison, skull full of loose sugar puffs. Better send for police. All right, 10%. But that's my last word. Well, I think I know what he means, Tom. Yeah. This man, Kit Williams, mm. buried a brooch, and then he wrote a book giving people clues where to find it, but it was dug up ages ago in Herefordshire. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Bad news, bad news, old chap. Buried treasure found. Mm, several years ago. Herefordshire. All right. 20%, but that's my last word. Not off my property. Three seconds likely to personally impale you with pickaxe to nearest telegraph pole. <laughs> Understood. Oh. oh, it will be all right, won't it, Tom? Should be. Made off like West Indian boundary by. No, I mean about our visitors. Yeah. Not really used to entertaining, especially Americans. How many? Hmm? About, um, 30. Ambitious for first dinner party? Well, there's only two coming here, Tom. Yes, Mr. Yes. and Mrs. Barrows. Yes. The rest are getting shared around. Uh -huh. But Mr. Winchon will introduce us at the welcoming lunch. Oh, I do hope they like it here. No reason why they shouldn't. Oh, Tom, it's just that I'm used to my parents. Yes. Whenever Cousin Thomas came to stay, he used to put a chart on the wall of how many hours it was before he could go home. Mm. And then when they gave a dinner party for some friends for the Halma Club, they used to tie their napkins together and climb out of the window to escape. Ah, yes. Embarrassing. Mm. Well, we'd better get down to the community centre, Tom. Don't forget we've got to go to the supermarket as well. Oh, just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right you are. Um, just uh, seem to have lost keys. But not the car keys, Tom. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Ah, good, yes. <coughs> Excuse me, miss, you haven't seen a pair of wheels, have you? Wheels? Oh, no, Tom, they've done it again. <laughs> 
I just yeah. parked it. Oh, very, very unwise. Annual soap cart rally next Thursday. Local kids do anything for a decent set of wheels. What kind of kids can jack up a three-ton lorry with a full load? Uh, known locally as Somborn Cuckoos. <laughs> <laughs> Usual job. Yes. Bricks and... Where are you going? I can't leave loose bricks lying around. So what happened there then? Oh, it was down by the lorry carrying the new boilers for the QE2. <laughs> the driver thought he saw the Virgin at Mons when he was doing a three point turn. I see. Um. <laughs> Is there a garage or anything? Yeah, sure, why not? Wasting my time here. <laughs> okay, chaps, this way. One last job, okay? All those loose bricks over there. Stacked in the hall. Everyone. Okay? Yes, yes. Scouts on her. Yes. No, I can rely on you. Thanks. Oh, Tom, I said we'd give the driver a lift to the garage. Oh, of course, it. in the grocery Grand Prix. Given trolley and two minutes, told Philip with whatever wanted. Got some lager. <laughs> well, I'll have a word with the kitchens, but I'm afraid there won't be any food left. Would have been here sooner, only checkout girl was sick into trolley. <laughs> After free champagne. Well, I do hope Mr. and Mrs. Burroughs aren't too upset by the delay. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Burroughs aren't here, as a matter of fact. They borrowed my car to pop out for some items of nasal hygiene. If you'll excuse us, Penelope and I have to organize this rap. All right. Uh, do get yourselves a dinner mint or something. Yes. Right. Thank you. Uh, hi. Bill Sosinski. No, no, Chance. Tom Chance. Oh. <laughs> I'm Bill Sosinski. Ah, oh, oh, good, good. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Chief Engineer, Sagamore, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Working mainly in effluent. Interesting. I guess over here you call that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Perfectly understood. Yes. Alison, like you to meet Stanislav Skrobachevsky. <laughs> Apparently, something big in sewage. Oh, that's nice. It's me again, ladies and gentlemen. Time for what you've all been waiting for. Time for the raffle, which is so important because it's going to pay for all those exciting trips we're planning for you in the coming week. So if you'll just look down at your tickets. I've got yep. your tickets here, Tom. Ah, uh, good, yes. Seen program of activities? Oh, I, I can't say I have. <laughs> Good things in it. Visit to ball bearing factory. Mm, uh, lecture in doily arrangement. Lawnmower through the ages exhibition. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to visiting the uh, A1 farm this afternoon. Well, no, it's AI actually. Artificial insemination. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest pig sperm bank in south of England. <laughs> The idea is to give you a broad overview of ordinary life in England. And the first wonderful prize, ladies and gentlemen, is this hamper of exotic foodstuffs, kindly donated by Harmsworths of Clyde Street. Yay! Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, those tickets, Tom. Those are for the slave auction on Thursday. Slave auction? Mm, it's another one of Mr. Wingent's way of making money. So you have about six girls up on the stage, mm. and then you buy a ticket for the one you'd like as your slave for the rest of the day. I got you those because I thought you might like to win me. And the first lucky number is 270. <laughs> win you? Mm. Susan's telling me you're going to stand up there and be auctioned by Wingent. 
Who's got 270? 270? Tom, it's you, you've won! Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alison. Sounds positively barbaric. <laughs> and the second superb gift is this combined set of tablecloths, napkins, candles donated by Fingles. And I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that I myself would go nowhere else for my linen and haberdashery. It raised an awful lot of money last year, Tom. Yes. And this year we're wearing these little dresses all tattered up the side and torn across the chest with chains round our arms and ankles. Mr. Wingent's going to be carrying a whip. <laughs> Good grief. Whose idea dressed like that? Well, it um, was mine, mostly. And the winning number is 561. 561. Five, six, Your turn is yours again! Oh, yes. Then what happens? Hmm? How do you mean? Well, then what happens? Rest of day. Last year, for instance. Oh, last year, Mr. Henstridge won me. What, anything? Special had to do? No, no, he's so excited he spent the rest of the day in hospital having a new battery fitted to his pacemaker. <laughs> and the next winning number is 347. 347. Tom, you just won a full new set. How about uh, shaking those tickets up a little bit, Charlie? You know, uh, give the rest of us a chance? <laughs> well, yes. And the, uh, the next lucky number. The next lucky number is electric nutcrackers. <laughs> well, if your friend there wins, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with your electric nutcrackers. I'm going to... <laughs> All right, now. I'm done, everyone. And the, ne the next lucky lumber is 161. 161? No, no, no. Not me. Not me. <laughs> It's mine! The electric nutcrackers are mine! Oh, oh I'm so sorry, Penelope just pointed it out to me. I had it upside down. Well, I want the nutcrackers! Uh, yes, um... Oh, <laughs> uh, a certain amount of experience of these situations. Think it probably best if we, um... Tom? Start loading the cart. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Tom. Come through, will you? Ah, of course. Tea will be up in a minute. Good. Yeah. Oh, it's been a hell of a day. Yeah. yeah, the cells are full of Americans. Over here on a French exchange. Yeah. The only thing they've done so far is to have a punch up in the community centre. Good of you to spare the time, Walter. Oh, not at all. Sit yourself down, Alison. Thank you. So, what can we do for you? Well, before I forget, would you like the good news now or later? Well, the sooner ah. we have some good news, the better, yeah. Sergeant Gore. <laughs> right, there are we then. That's it. Ah, that's for your lucky day. You won a prize with your cloakroom ticket at the police ball. <laughs> ah, splendid, yes. Um, shock. Your friend. Well, what are you supposed to do with it? Uh, you have to walk up to friend, offer outstretched hand, saying, How do you do? Well, then what happens? Laugh as your victim doubles up on the ground in pain. <laughs> gives friend electric shock. I think there's been some sort of a mix-up, Tom. You were supposed to get the leather at driving license holder. Ah. Yes, that explains why that kid at the orphanage party was crying his eyes out. So, uh, what can we do for you, anyway? Well, three points, really, Walton. Just three? Yes. Uh, firstly, 
mole over there tied himself to bumper, act of protest, used seven padlocks, swallowed the keys. Yeah. This mole apparently mistook Tom for the head of biology at the comprehensive where they dissect frogs. Mm, yes, tried to let him loose, but in the end seemed simpler to disconnect Bumper. Constable here, very, very helpful. Jeremy, isn't it? Used wire clippers. Mm. No good, Sarge. Re-strengthen steel. We'll have to call a locksmith. So, I gather you swallowed some keys. Yes, and I, I'm very sorry if I've caused you any inconvenience. <laughs> I don't think we shall need a locksmith, Willis. Liquid paraffin. <laughs> Take him somewhere private and give him a mugful, will you? Could, couldn't I just have a bowl of high fibre cereal and let nature take its course? If you want my advice, lad, you'll take as much as you can and pray that it works. You won't like my other idea for getting the keys back at all. Mm. Hey, your lads are a bit busy down there. They asked me to bring this up for you. Oh, uh, this is Mr. Comfort. He's a lorry driver. Yes, yes. Met before this morning. Found your wheels. Oh, yeah. Got the wheels, all right. Uh, unfortunately, when he got back to his lorry, someone had pinched his load. Uh, I mean, who'd nick a lorry load of bricks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been hell of a day. Hell of a day. Uh, Sergeant. Oh, now, uh, you said there were three things, Tom. Ah, oh, yes, second point. Man in garden digging hole. Like to urge in strongest oh, possible... Don't worry, don't worry. As soon as he's out of hospital, we shall be throwing the book at him. Hospital? Why is he in hospital? Oh, you, you don't drive a pickaxe through an electricity cable and a water made in one blow without doing yourself a certain amount of mischief. <laughs> you did know that he... Uh... Oh, uh, I thought that's why you were here. Oh, dear. Not been cut off. Walter. It's only for one night, don't worry. Uh, they said they'd be round first thing. Oh, it's just that we were expecting company tonight, Sergeant Goff, an American couple. Not that they turned up anyway. Yeah, third point, like to report missing couple, Mr. and Mrs. Burrows. Burrows? <clears throat> Wait a minute. We've got some Burrows down in number 14. Yes, found driving on the wrong side of the road with two cartons of stolen groceries in the back. <laughs> Yes, uh, we're not prosecuting. Uh, the woman genuinely has no idea of how they got there. Uh, would you like me to bring them up? Oh, if you would, please, Sergeant. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Poor fellow. I say, Mr. Comfort. Yes. Got something might amuse you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Anything in it. Anything at all. Yes. Yeah, this do? Yes, yeah, perfect. Marvellous. Mm. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Oh, it's clever. Yeah. <laughs> How do I get it back? <laughs> Haven't got a clue. <laughs> Same thing happened to me this morning. Right, you two can go. They're not preferring charges. I should damn well think I of. did not steal those boxes. Why the hell would I? I didn't say you stole them, honey. All I said was... Yeah, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Burrows. Hmm? Yeah? What's it to you? <laughs> like to welcome you to England. <laughs> <laughs> Alison explained things likely to be a bit spartan. They haven't it? fixed the water yet. No, no, uh, but uh, plenty to drink. Oh, uh, oh um, watch out for dead hamster. Oh, it's only for one night, Mrs. Burrows. Well, if we look on it as an adventure, we might have a little bit of fun. Fun, yeah. If it's me, yes. Tom. Tom. Seven thousand five hundred. Yes. Can't help admiring them, really. Little fellows, only two of them, moved seven thousand. 
500 bricks. Oh, the wonderful movement the Scouts have always said so. <laughs> General Leader couldn't apologize enough. Entire troop coming round tomorrow move all bricks back onto the lorry. <laughs> now, um, would you like a water biscuit with your chestnut puree? <laughs> Here we are. Sorry we can't get into the kitchen. Alison had wonderful meals planned, you know. How's game soup coming on? Not only warm to tepid, Tom. Had another 20 minutes. Mm. Yeah, when you think about it, we've been really lucky, really. Mm. Really? Just how do you make that out? Well, we didn't have any lights, and Tom mm. won the candles, mm. and he won the food, mm. and the stools. Mm. Lager. Mm. Lager, yes. <laughs> I can't help thinking we ought to be terribly grateful to someone for all this. Just tell me who he is and I'll beat the crap out of him. <laughs> Soap and water, honey. Yeah. Well, if you'll, uh, excuse me, yes. I need the... Ah, yes. water the horses, eh? Mm, yes. Lager probably have exactly the same problem. Goes through me like hydroelectric power station. Yes. <laughs> 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 Just up ladder, 30 bricks to the left, small drop. Remember to roll with the knees when you land. <laughs> Might try entering her, but it's a knockout. Back in that, Mrs. Burrows. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they had some electric nutcrackers around here somewhere. Oh, no, I think Mr. Wingent still had them, Tom, when they took him off in the ambulance. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> Well, uh. Could use brick. <laughs> Everything all right, Mrs. Burrows? I'm stuck, Howard. Uh, no, 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 no need all of us. Uh, call you if necessary. Um, Mr. Burrows, your nuts are all over the place. <laughs> oh, is is this something? Oh, that's one of Tom's magic boxes. Ah. Oh, Mr. Burrows, I hope you don't get the wrong impression about Tom. No. Oh, it's just that, you know, because he's so jolly and outgoing, people think he doesn't care. But believe me, deep down, he's a truly caring and sensitive human being. Decided to abandon attempt to shove her through hole. <laughs> Going to get little plastic bucket instead. <laughs> So, uh, what do you do with this thing? Well, what you do is you get something valuable from the audience mm -hmm. and you put it in there and it disappears. Hey, that sounds yeah. really neat. Hey, uh, honey, did you wear that uh, diamond and sapphire ring tonight? <laughs> well, I can think of one good consequence this time, Tom. Yes, what's it? You can be sure of winning me at Thursday's slave auction. <laughs> mm. Certainly can. Made sure of that. How do you mean? Well, couldn't bear idea of you slaving away for some man. So, had a word with Wingent and um, bought all the tickets. <laughs> Yes, yes. Tom? Huh? huh? That is the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. Alison. Yes, Tom? Any chance of another pint? <laughs> Tom Chance returns next Sunday night. And in executive stress on Tuesday, Caroline and Donald entertain a prospective client who happens to be a French chef, and that means trouble with the caterers. Penelope Keats stars in Executive Stress, Tuesday night at 8 o'clock.